Ew, it smells so bad. Oh my god, did I just get chemical burn? My lips are fucking burning, you guys. Ew, there is no way I'm gonna be using that on my skin. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, oh, I am fucking nervous for myself. So today's video, I am going to be doing a video of makeup that I'm throwing away. <sighs> I'm scared. And it's not just old makeup, it's expired makeup. It's old, expired. So I am just so scared for my skin because I know there's a lot of foundations in there that are expired and I feel so bad for my face like so yesterday I filmed a video I didn't film this video but yesterday I filmed a video to go along for this week um just didn't go well the microphone was off a eh? the camera was out of focus the entire time um nothing was going good in that video I didn't like the way the makeup came out I didn't like how my skin looked I didn't like anything from that video nothing nada so I'm just like you know what I'm not even gonna post it I'm just gonna film one video for this week because I wanted to make it up for two videos since I didn't post last week so uh, yeah here we are so before you guys get right into this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed hit the notification bell so you guys get notified whenever it is that I post a video and pray for me that I don't break out my skin doesn't melt off and yeah so let's just get right into the video <laughs> I didn't have any other box yeah I have to put it in a homegirls box right here so I've had these for such a freaking long time if you guys remember AVD Beauty was before Kat Von D's line and this was the first one that she put out like it even pops out I didn't even go through an entire bottle I was just trying out so many foundations and then we have the Salma Hayek foundation I used to be obsessed with it but you guys, like, oh my god. You guys, I don't know if you can see that, but look. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. Looks like it's dried the fuck out. Ugh. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with a little bit of this AOA No Pore Primer. This one, I've had it for almost four years, you guys. I don't know why I never threw it out. You can even feel, you could feel the oils on this. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. I cannot believe I just did that. Ew, it smells so bad. Well, I'm not joking, you guys. This shit smells terrible. Next, we're going to go in with my oldest foundation. I'm going to go ahead and use this Kat Von D foundation. I had a couple and I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two just because they're my oldest. This one is not really that old. This is the Sonia Kashuk. Uh, I got to see. This is the Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Satin Foundation. Let me just say this foundation is beautiful. I've used it in so many videos. I used it also on my freelance kit whenever I did people's makeup. It's just a good foundation in general, but. We're going to be throwing it out. I'm going to be using... Oh my god. Can you hear that? Oh my god. Okay, I gotta see how it looks. Ew! I am not putting that on my skin. Can you... Oh my god. Can you see the oil like dripping down? Ew! There is no way I'm going to be using that on my skin. Oh, hell no, I'm not. Definitely, I'm not using that. This is so disgusting. There's oil on it. It's separated. It looks like it curd. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Kat Von D foundation. This is the old Locket Tattoo foundation. This was when Kat Von D owned the company. Now it's called KVD Beauty or KVD Vegan Beauty or something like that. Ew. 
By the way, you guys, I got bit by a mosquito right here. It's not a pimple. Like, their foundation thick, honey. For concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This I've had for such a long time. I finally repurchased some the other day. And I haven't used this one in over, like, a, maybe like a year and a half. And I still have it. So I'm going to set this concealer now. I have these right here. These are the AOA um, Perfect Setting Powders. I have the brightening one and the banana one. I hated both of these. These are these probably are maybe like two years old. They clinged on to the, um, to the concealer. They didn't move. Wherever you put it is where it's going to stay. So I absolutely hated these products right here. So this is the banana powder one and as you can see like it's very yellow so I'm gonna use a brightening one because the banana one was horrid and I'm not really even putting that much like if you can see like I'm barely tapping my brush in there and it like makes so much like it's coming off next I have um a powder that I was so in love with. I have two actually, which I'm gonna use both of them. So I had the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder when it first, first came out. And then I have this powder, which I don't know where it came from, but then I started using it. This is a Neutrogena Mineral Shears Powder Foundation. This was in the shade Tan. I think I was going through like a tan phase. I can't believe I used this shade of powder before like it looks like I'm putting on a beard right here okay guys so I have this bronzer right here if you can see it is very very old it doesn't even have the name brand in here in the front anymore this is by pop beauty this is in the shade sun kissed um, it's a bronzer So everyone who knows me and my family knows that I'm always buying makeup so I don't really go through a bunch of makeup like foundations and eyeshadows. I really don't go through a lot of them just because I always buy and I buy and I buy and I buy which don't get me wrong I love my makeup and I probably will never stop buying it but the amount of makeup that is expiring is crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Tarte blush now. This is in the shade Party. Okay, but just by looking at my face though, can you really tell that I'm using like expired makeup? I feel like you can't really tell this IBY Beauty Ibby, Ibby, whatever it's called. It looks like that from the front and then it looks like this. These were probably samples when I was receiving um, Ipsy like three, four years ago. Excuse me. Yeah, there was a reason why I didn't like this. It has a pink tint to it and it's super sheer once you start blending it out. So I'm going to use a Pacifica also just to see how it looks. Oh, this is dark. Oh yeah, that's super dark. What the fuck did I just do? Look, it looks muddy AF now. Oh my god, okay. These are trash now. I have this eyeshadow palette that was from my first ever Valentine's Day look. It's probably like three years ago or something, maybe even more. Okay, now I just feel really fucking old. Then I have this from Clinique that I never used. And I have just like a bunch of little eyeshadows. I have Milani, I have old MAC shadows and I have another Milani one. I've used most of these in a lot of videos and then I have another MAC one. So old. Oh I have Swiss chocolate. These, this used to be my favorite eyeshadow. Swiss chocolate from MAC was the shit back in the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Swiss chocolate first. So back then MAC used to be like if you had MAC you were bougie as fuck and if you didn't have MAC you were poor as fuck. I'm gonna use this one right here. Like this dark purple. 
think I don't have anything else other than this right here. This is a brow pencil I used to like back in the day. Don't don't ask me why. I have no idea. So I found two very very old lip products. They're both from NYX and look at this packaging you guys. This was peach pink when I got them. Look at the color. You can just tell that this is old. Look at this part right here. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened to it. And then I have this um, butter lipstick also from NYX. This is, not that you guys even give a fuck about the shade, but this is a dark maroon plum shade. I'm gonna use this first. Yeah, there was a reason I didn't like this shade. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one. Oh my god, I don't even want to put it on my lips. You guys, my lips are gonna fucking melt off. I think I've had this for over five years. Oh my god, it's tingly. Oh my god, it's tingly. Oh my god. Oh my god, it burns. It burns, it burns, it burns. Oh. That's what I get for being a fucking idiot and doing this video. Can you see? Oh my god. Did I just get chemical burn? So last but not least is this setting spray right here. I don't, I, I'm not putting this on my face you guys. This is the Master Fix Face Studio by Maybelline. I've had this for over six years, you guys. Ugh, it's Ew, no lie, this made me gag right now. Ugh, that smells like a bunch. Ew, I, I'm not putting this on my face, you guys. But you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am gonna go ahead and soak my freaking face in Cloro right now to make sure it's freaking clean. I am going to be exfoliating. I'm gonna put sheet mask. I'm gonna put a face mask and hydrate the fuck out of my skin. Hopefully I don't break out from this foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't be as stupid as I am, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Hit the notification bell down below so you guys get notified whenever I post a video and I will see you guys in the next video with good makeup, like clean makeup. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.